motherfucker break up with me. What an asshole. Yes, you should have slipped him that concoction when you had the chance. And who would the cops have come after? Me. They were already sniffing around far too close when I took out that bitch Judy from the warehouse. Everyone knows that she got the promotion because she was doing special favors for the boss. This world is stacked to the people that are handed everything. Just like your sorority sister, Francine. What about your ex-boyfriend, Peter? God knows their parents were rich. They never wanted for anything in their lives. Francine deserved every swing of that axe. One for every time she tried to fuck my boyfriend. Peter wasn't that innocent. You should have known that when you met his father. A man in his fifties trying to hit on his son's girlfriend. I told Peter I had to do it. When Peter wouldn't stop screaming, I had to make him stop. No, no, Rachel. I'm here for you. I've always been here for you. Yes. Yes, you are. Now, what would make you feel better, baby doll? Let's get you someone to share a drink with, shall we? That one. Look at her. She doesn't look like she needs to be hitchhiking. Yes, such an entitled Chris. She'll judge you silently. She'll think she's so much better than you. You love her, that trick. But she won't accept it, as it's not that fancy water she gets at the spa. You're right. I'll have to take her to the spa. Thanks for picking me up. It's unbearable out there. I'm Susan. Rachel. Man, the temps have really dropped. What's got you out this late at night? I could ask the same of you. I just had a huge fight with my asshole boyfriend. I'm done with this shit. I'm ready to party. I totally understand. Really? You really understand? Kind of like you broke up with your old baggy balls meat puppet? And lost my job. Who needs men? Let's go party. Let's go find a nice spot far away from all the chicks and dicks, blow off some steam. I know just the spot. Oh yeah? Is this a spot you know well? Seems like you have a bit of a bad luck air about you. A little sad, the world against me, woes, broken home. Title Briss. You grew up on the hillside, walk-in closet, pool. Your parents donated to every cop ball. <laughs> this one's going to feel so good. Absolutely. The fewer degenerates on the street, the better. The homeless are so disgusting. Can you believe how full of herself this bitch is? Let's park the car. You need to swing away, baby doll. Well... I hope it's not too reminiscent of a homeless person, but I like to come out here and build a fire to try to clear my head. I have my axe and firewood in the back. I don't want to smoke in the car, so let's have a little fire and relax. <laughs> That's so bohemian. <laughs>